I've been on the road now for eight months, but I'm carrying way too much gear. I'm carrying about 30 kilos of gear, which is just too much to carry on your back. A lot of that I can't get rid of because I'm carrying you know, a full backpack filmmaking uh, kit, but I'm sure there's stuff I can get rid of. So I'm moving from the Philippines to colder climates, going to Japan, Hong Kong, so it's a really good time to get rid of some gear. So come and have a look at what I've got. First I've got the camera, which you can't see at the moment because it's filming, but I also have a laptop, um, various hard drives, a stills camera, which also doubles as a video for video, um, and that all goes in my carry-on luggage in a little waterproof bag. Uh, a lot of this stuff I really can't get rid of. I need it, you know. Um, you know, lightweight light kit, underwater um, camera, you know, kits for filming underwater. Um, I should really have a smartphone, but eventually we'll get one. A lot of this stuff I need. I can't really get rid of it. But that's just the valuable stuff that goes with me on a carry-on luggage. Over here is a whole case full of chargers, you know, a second, a tripod for my stills camera, you know, and a lot of this stuff I can't get rid of either, but I can get rid of these, so that's, that's going to take down a bit of weight. This was the original um, archiving method, it doesn't really work, I'm using hard drives, hard drives are cheap enough, so I'll get rid of those, that's two things I can get rid of, but a lot of this stuff, you know, it's pretty much needed, leads, uh, chargers, um, so there's not a lot I can get rid of there. All right, so this is my um, my other luggage, which is just a backpack, old backpack. Need a tripod, lightest weight tripod I could I could find. Velbron, I've, I found they're pretty good. Um, you know that can go in in there, so I can hide that away in there. Uh, so what have we got here? Recently, I did some shopping for the first time in eight months. Bought some new clothes. First time I've had jeans on for eight months. Look at that. Hey, new shirt. Some Asian inspired disco wear. So new clothes, a new good shirt, but a lot of these clothes I've been wearing for eight months, like this one. Now this was given to me by um, a YouTube fan. Sorry, Dan, it's gonna have to go. I'm not doing uh, Boston any favors wearing a very old raggedy Red Sox shirt. So that's gonna go. My going out shirt, it was a lovely pink. It's now a lovely pink with brown underarm stains. That can go too. Um, Hawaii shirt, well really, I just look like a ridiculous tourist. And it's even, it's even had a, a, a fake button sewn on. So that can go too, that's all right. Mozzie net, extra weight, I've used it. I have used it in the jungles of Borneo, but really, if I'm going somewhere where I need an Aussie, a mozzie net, I can probably buy one and just give it away. So that can go extra weight. <coughs> Sleeping bag, handy, but you know, if I'm couch surfing, but really, if I need to be using a, a sleeping bag with all the extra gear I'm carrying, do I really need it? No, it's gonna go. That's probably a kilo. It's going. Now look at this crap. Eight months of travel. All right, a diary. I was gonna use this diary to make notes and whatever. Have I? No, it's absolutely useless. You know, all right, there's numbers of people in here and there's brochures of things I should remember. But I'm gonna to have to get a big organization. That needs to go. That's probably you know, half a kilo of weight. Um, plastic bags, very handy in hostels when you're getting up early and having to move from one hostel to the other. Not really. Like, look at this. Eight month old travel shorts. Look at those stains. Look at the wear and tear. They have to go. It's not worth keeping them. Um, all right, rash vest, handy for snorkeling, handy for surfing. I'm gonna hold on to that one because that does save sunburn for old whitey. Uh, Bandana can be handy. Sarong doubles as a towel, doubles as a sheet, handy. Sleeping um, hostel sheet, yes, lightweight, handy, like a sleeping bag. <coughs> Bintang singlet from Bali, really makes me look like a bogan. Um, it is handy in the tropics, but I've had that for eight months now. It needs to go. <laughs> um, old Celtics hat. God, I've got the cowboy hat. Do I really need two hats? No. Bloody old pair of shorts. I can keep them for now, but I probably need another pair. They're starting, look at the color of that. That white's gone brown, but we'll keep it for now. Uh, vest is handy when it gets to colder climates, so I'll keep that one, and I wrap my camera up in that too, so it doubles for extra things. Um, lightweight merino wool pullover is very handy, it's lightweight and it's warm. Uh, 
undies. Now, you know what? I actually traveled with about five pairs of underpants because I couldn't be bothered washing them. But I don't really, you know, they're lightweight, but do I really need that many pairs of underpants? No. <coughs> Let's narrow it down to about three pairs of underpants. Same with socks. Three pairs of socks. Little hot pants. Well, yeah, they'll keep those. Why not? Crocodile hunter top. Yeah, why not? It can be a bit of fun. Um, vinyl. Now, what is this? This is a nylon, nylon burn in the bush. Nylon top. You know what with these, these travel adventure shirts? They're made of nylon, which is quick dry, but they make you sweat like a mofo. They're really no good, but I'll keep that because it does, you know, have a bit of a adventure look about it. Hat, well that's really handy for wrapping the tripod in, so I'm going to keep that. Old belt, well that's going to go, you know, look at it, it's eight months old. I've actually bought a new sexy belt. So we've got that one, and this one, which I've only worn a couple of times, but it's once again, nice joke t-shirt, Gorilla Filmmaker, I'll keep that one. But, so, <clears throat> I've got rid of probably maybe two kilos there. It's not much, but it's a start, and I could probably even cut back on more clothes. You know, just a matter of having two or three shirts, two or three jocks, you know, a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, one pair of shoes, one pair of thongs, and I mean, that's it. So, you know, I'm carrying about 12 kilos, maybe more, maybe 15 kilos of camera gear, when you take into account the charges and everything. So by doing that, I really have to keep, cut back on the clothing and, you know, cut back on stuff that's not needed, like keeping brochures and stuff from everywhere I go. But there you go. Eight months of lessons on the road of how to actually travel lighter. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, eventually work out what weight change I've made when I go to the airport and I'll be able to get back to you on that. All right, cheers.